let's get out the big players ASAP. And I, you know, and I, I may be someone they think is a big player, but you know, I'm going to play what I, I'm going to do what I got to do to stay in the house. Um, I think I take my number one ally with me uh, personally, um, knowing that it would be a close vote um, instead of a, a person that I could normally beat, uh, who I feel I could normally beat. And and the reason why I would take uh, the closer vote or is because when you play, you want to play the best. I don't want to play knowing that, you know, th this is this is going to be, you know, more easy. I want to walk in that room and I want to earn it. So and I believe that, you know, I have that when I walk in a room, I can close the deal. So long as I long as I have an audience, long as I can sit in front of somebody, I can sell myself and I, I can get the votes. I watched uh, a lot of seasons of Big Brother. One of my favorite players, uh, well, two is actually uh, Derek and um, and Derek and Xavier because both of them have had a similar game to me and they stand out the most out of everybody. I've seen a lot of uh, good players, but them them too, they stood out because they had such tunnel vision as to what they came in the house to do, what they were going to do, and they stayed the course on what was going to happen, no matter what. This is what's going to take place. I'm going to do this. This is what's going to happen. And you saw it through the whole season. And to me, that was like a flawless. I've never seen too many flawless um, you know, seasons. And, and those two people had great flawless seasons to me. I think it would all depend on how much I need that person in the game for my longevity. Is that person a shield to me? Is Can that person be offered up, you know, at this particular point? It, I think it all depends on what stage in the game that you are before you start, you know, eating away people who are actually in tune with you. Because you, you eat away your number one alliance or someone who's close to you, then you're by yourself. And then you're looking to try to build up again. And that that is a short window of time that you have and anything could happen in that time. So. I would honestly have to say it all depends on what stage in the game that we're at um, for me to uh, go ahead and go along with the house and vote them out. Wow. Um, you, you, uh, I would throw a competition. Basically, the reason why I would throw a competition is if it's going to put me in a better position for the upcoming week. And I knew I had guaranteed safety and in going into it, you know, uh, say it's HOH, but it's more important for me to win the HOH next week before I win it this one. So yeah, I would throw the competition and probably throw it to someone who's one of my allies just to make sure that we're good and to, and also to give more uh, more guarantee that that we're we're together in this. So yeah. Um, from HOH, uh, I always believe that, you know, voting out the, the, the players who, you know, aren't, you know, that you think that you could easily beat or they're not anybody who you think is a threat is, to me, a waste of time. Let's get out the big players ASAP. And I, you know, and I, I may be someone they think is a big player, but, you know, I'm going to play what I, I'm going to do what I got to do to stay in the house. But yes, I'm voting out the, the most, the person who is absolutely a threat to me. And the, the big people need to go first so we can even the playing field. Let's, let's, let's make it a fair game because there's no way to get out a strong player in the end. It's too difficult. So get them out straight away.